Since the 19th of November, Iran-backed Houthis have launched over 25 illegal and unacceptable attacks on commercial shipping in the Red Sea. And on the 9th of January, they mounted a direct attack against British and American warships. They fired on our ships and our sailors. It was the biggest attack on the Royal Navy for decades. And so we acted. We did so in self-defence, consistent with the UN Charter, and to uphold freedom of navigation, as Britain has always done. Alongside the United States, with support from Australia, Bahrain, Canada and the Netherlands, we ordered the RAF to strike two Houthi military facilities in Yemen. I want to be clear that these were limited strikes. They were carefully targeted at launch sites for drones and ballistic missiles to to degrade the Houthis' capacity to make further attacks on international shipping. I can tell the House today that our initial assessment is that all 13 planned targets were destroyed. At the drone and cruise missile base in Barney, nine buildings were successfully hit. A further three buildings were hit at Abs Airfield along with a cruise missile launcher caught in the open. We have seen no evidence thus far of civilian casualties, which we took great care to avoid. I know the whole House will join me in paying tribute to the incredible bravery and professionalism of all our servicemen and women. The need to maximise the security and effectiveness of the operation meant that it was not possible to bring this matter to the House in advance. But we took care to brief members before the strikes took place including you, of course, Mr Speaker, and the Leader of the Opposition, and I have come to the House at the earliest possible opportunity. Mr Speaker, I do not take decisions on the use of force lightly. That is why I stress that this action was taken in self-defence. It was limited, not escalatory. It was a necessary and proportionate response to a direct threat to UK vessels and, therefore, to the UK itself. And, Mr Speaker, let me be absolutely clear why the Royal Navy is in the Red Sea. They are there as part of Operation Prosperity Guardian, protecting freedom of navigation as a fundamental tenet of international law. The Houthis' attack on international shipping have put innocent lives at risk. They have held one crew hostage for almost two months, and they are causing growing economic disruption. Global commerce cannot operate under such conditions. Containers and tankers are having to take a 5,000-mile detour around the Cape of Good Hope. That pushes up prices and imperils the passage of goods, foods and medicines that the British people and others rely on. We have attempted to resolve this through diplomacy. After numerous international calls for the attacks to stop, a coalition of countries gave the Houthis a clear and unambiguous warning two weeks ago. Last week, the UN Security Council passed a resolution condemning the attacks and highlighting the right of nations to defend their vessels and preserve freedom of navigation. Yet, the Houthis continued on their reckless path. Mr Speaker, we shouldn't fall for their malign narrative that this is about Israel and Gaza. They target ships from around the world. We continue to work towards a sustainable ceasefire in Gaza and to get more aid to civilians. Mr Speaker, let me reiterate that Labour backs this targeted action to reinforce maritime security in the Red Sea. We strongly condemn the Houthi attacks that are targeting commercial ships of all nationalities, putting civilians and military personnel in serious danger, including British forces. The Houthi attacks are unacceptable, illegal and, if left unaddressed, could lead to a devastating rise in the cost of essential food in some of the poorest countries. And, Mr Speaker, the international community clearly stands against the Houthi attacks. Alongside the UK and the US, four other countries were involved in non-operational support. Over a dozen nations are part of the Maritime Protection Force in the Red Sea, and many others support the recent UN Security Council resolution, which condemns the Houthi attacks in the strongest possible terms. The UK strikes were limited, targeted, and did everything possible to protect civilian lives. That is a proportionate response. 